Now, this is one question that most coaches just don't know or they completely hate when they get asked this. And don't worry, this is not about doom and gloom, but if you're serious about building your online fitness business, then we need to be able to get to this answer. See, when I was a personal trainer back in Dubai, I was successful from the outside looking in. I had a full book of training clients, I was charging a premium for my sessions, and I had a team of personal trainers working for me. But the problem was, I was stuck in the gym. And when I asked myself the question, how much longer do I want to be doing this for? What about in two years, five years, 10 plus years down the track? The answer was, I don't want to be doing it any longer. And this really came true when I first became a father when I was 26 years old. I was stuck in the gym. I wasn't able to spend time with my daughter. I wasn't able to spend time with with my wife. We couldn't travel around the world. And I was limited to the amount of money that I was able to earn as well. And this was what I now call the time for money trap. But what's really important is getting to the key question right now. And that is, what is your end game? Why are you actually working so hard in your fitness business? What do you want out of it? And when we know what it is that you really want to get to, then we can reverse engineer so you can actually build a business that truly gives you the life that you want. Because the way that I see it now, we call this a dancing bear business. Now, a dancing bear gets paid when they're dancing. You as a personal trainer, as a coach, you get paid when you're training your clients, when you're writing the programs, when you're there doing the work, and that's when you're being the dancing bear, you're dancing. So what happens when you stop dancing? Well, you stop getting paid. And when you stop dancing, your business breaks and your income stops. And the biggest problem of all it is you don't make a change. Now it only gets harder. It's just like digging your own grave and you're just digging deeper, which makes it harder for you to get out of. So there's three questions that you have to answer to make sure that we're truly actually building a business and building a life that you really want. And the first one is what is the, your end game? What is it that you truly want out of your business? Do you want to sell it for X amount of dollars down the track? Do you want to build a cash flow asset? What is it that you truly want? The second important question is, what is your ultimate lifestyle expenses? Now, this is an exercise that every single Coaches Cartel member must do because we can't actually build a business that truly gives them what they want until we know this. So what you need to figure out right now is you living the life that you truly want. How much does that actually cost you? How much are you spending when you're paying your mortgages off? What about for your children's schooling? What about for your food, your gym, your supplements? What about you just going out, clothing, travel? What about uh, charity, what about savings, investments, all the different things. You need to sit down and actually put that together. So if I or anyone else asks you the question, how much money do you want to earn? You know that figure, that number that you give that answer to has some actual substance behind it. And it's not just what I call a rectal extraction number. You're not just pulling your number out of your ass. And that goes into the third key question. And that is what's the business model that you need to move into? So let's say, for example, you're a face-to-face -face coach right now. The first thing we need to figure out is, is the business model that you want going to be able to give you the money that you want? So you training clients one-on-one face-to-face, let's say you're charging $100 a session right now. Let's say you can only see 30 clients in a week because that maxes out your time. That means you can earn $3,000 a week, which is great. But then the next question is, well, what if you wanted to be able to earn $5,000 a week, $6,000 a week, $10,000 a week? You can't actually do that because your business model has a ceiling. It stops you from from breaking on through that. But then the next key question after how much money is what's the type of work that you wanna be doing? And that comes down to, well, do you wanna be actually training clients in the gym every single day? Or do you wanna be working online? Do you wanna be able to work from anywhere in the world? What's the actual style of work that you wanna be doing as well? Because then the third key question to the business model is how much flexibility do you have? Can you actually make that change? I know for a lot of face-to-face -face trainers, and this is what I went through when I was in Dubai. I had to literally actually move countries and I stopped all of my clients that I saw in Dubai and I started my online personal training business. Thankfully, it worked out and it worked out really well. And here we are today to actually tell the story and goddamn, it was really hard. And that's the thing as well is it's going to be hard when you have to break and make those changes. But the good news is you definitely can do it. There's much smarter ways to do it rather than what I did. And that's a big reason why I wanna share with you what's working right now. 
So you've got to answer these three questions. What is your actual end game at the end of the day? Do you know why you're actually working so hard in your fitness business now? The second is how much money do you actually want to be earning? What's your ultimate lifestyle expenses? So you know how much money your business needs to bring in. And then thirdly, how do you set your business model up so you're earning the money you want and being able to do the work you want with the freedom that you want as well. So if you want to see actually how the other coaches are doing it, so you, you can take a step back and see, all right, what's missing from your business right now? But more importantly, what is it that you need to be doing and knowing what's working right now? I'll pop a link below to the free training that we just recorded with a big group of trainers. This is simply going to show you what are the steps to be able to go from, let's say, working in the gym, being a face-to-face -face trainer. Maybe you're not even started your online business you want to get started. You're going to find out what are those steps and therefore you can figure out how are you actually going to take action so you can start from today. So just click the link below and you'll get free access to that. And as always, thank you so much for being here. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode. Now, this is where I want to make sure that you get the most out of being here and I want to hear from you. So if you've enjoyed this episode, click like and to make sure I can send you the new episodes each and every week, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, I really want to make sure that I'm giving you exactly what you need. So comment below. I want to know what you're going to take away from this episode. And the best conversations after every episode always happen in the Breaking Success Tribe. I'll pop a link below for you to join the free group so you get access to the guides, the live streams. I'm in there answering your questions personally each and every day. Plus, you get all the episodes as well. So thank you so much for being here and joining us. I'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next episode.